Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're taking a sneak peek look at the Mac Titan Superliner. Now, uh, that's what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's only a Mac Titan, but anyway, uh, that's fine, we'll have a quick sweep around. We have had a look at this before. Uh, I did want to have a look at an updated version of this because it is... I think I think it's a really nice, uh, really nice truck, you know, I think it's pretty pretty nicely done so let's jump into customized configuration and check that out right so here we are I mean I think it's very nicely modeled uh, so I think it's really good now we have a look at the cabin all we have is the super liner that we have there and then for the actual chassis we've got the 6x4 the 6x4 mid lift and the 6x4 heavy axis or axles that's axles, yeah. Now, uh, if you quickly switch them over, you can see there's the mid lift there, but uh, you can't really see anything. It is hard to see the difference between it, between these two, but the actual parameters inside the game would have changed. So uh, let's just try the 6x4, and then we'll go off to the engine. Now, you can actually get the CAT 3406 uh, 515, the 600 horsepower. There's the Mac E9 V8, which is what I want to try. And there's the Cummins ISX 600. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this one here, the, the V8 610 first. We'll have a look at that. And then we will um, we'll might have a look in, at some of the other engines as well. See if we've got time. So, uh, here we actually have for the gearboxes this is a 13 speed there's another 13 speed um, there's a 12 speed and an 18 speed and another 18 speed there now is that got a retarder what's this maxi talk t uh, 318l r21 18 speed 4.11 diff uh, and there's the actual 3.98 diff I'm gonna go that one there and then we go off to the interior. Uh, now here's the interior. I'm not sure, but it sort of reminds me of the Kenworth interior. So, but that's um, oh, it could be wrong. I don't know. It does remind me? I've not seen inside one of these trucks, to be honest. So I don't know what the interior looks like. But um, reminds me of a Kenworth interior. Uh, but only one to choose from, and it is only left-hand drive. There's no right-hand drive. Now, uh, we have here the actual uh, colors are Stormy Blue, Bronze Autumn, Sunlit Silver, Black Knight, and Deep Aquamarine. Now, I know that you can get a ton of skins for this. So, if you are thinking, well, that's not very good, but there are a ton of skins for it people have made, that people have made. Now, uh, for the Bull Bar, there is the uh, Twister, Twister, and the Twister. So there's several different kinds that you can get. Uh, it would have been nice to have a different bumper on the front there. That would be nice. But unfortunately, you can only get the uh, different bull bars. So let's just put that on there and we'll add a couple of lights on the front. This one looks like a real Outback Australian bumper, this one. Now, for these mirrors here, you can take them off if you wish. But I'm going to leave them on. I don't mind them there at all. Then up there, it says Bonfire for the tuning but it's actually just flags for the inside there so um, we'll just leave leave that off they get a bit distracting they do shame you don't have an option for the sun visor there for a different sun visors but obviously that's probably coming later I guess uh, now for the actual bonfire you the beacon lights you can actually put them in there which now I'm pretty sure I, I mentioned this last time and I have double checked it since then this model truck comes out with the beacon lights on top here, not there. So that's something for those people that like to have it pretty legit. So it is the same type bonfire, uh, the, the same beacon light there, that's correct. But that is normally on top of the, the, uh, the snorkels there. Right, so that's fine. We'll leave that on. I think it looks pretty good. Now if we zoom out there, we have a look. You can actually get, well it says bonfire, but it's a spoiler. You can put a spoiler on there, but I don't particularly like that for this model truck. So I'm going to take that off. 
And then there, you can actually put the horns on the top there, so... Uh, which they're generally down there. I very rarely see them up top there, but taking them off anyway. Now, down to the actual wheels, there are all of the standard wheels that you could possibly want in the game. Um, and they all work properly. There's Raven there, there's... Uh, American Dream, Absolute Fury. I think I'm going to go for Eastern Eagle. Uh, tie as a standard, you can go the Trailmaster, Elemental and Runner. Now for the rear here, uh, same thing again, just all the standard rims that you can get. We're going to put on Eastern Eagle. And that is pretty much it for this model. So that's about it. Um, let's go and check out the interior. Now what can you do? There is the mirrors down there, you can take them off. So if they look like they're going to be in the road, you can take them off. And there is that those flags there, which I thought they looked like they were in the road, so I didn't put them on there. But other than that, it does look very nice in here. I don't mind it at all. So let's go confirm that. And let's trade in on the last mod. And we will take a look on the outside. Okay, so here we are. Now, uh, having a look at the model here, I think it looks very nice. Uh, a little bit jagged on the corners there, but that's no major deal, really. Uh, tanks also a little bit sort of jaggedy, but again, no big deal. It does look very smooth at the front there. Looks very nice indeed. Now looking around, uh, I think it, it's a very good model. It works really well in this game, so uh, kudos to the guys that have converted that. Well, I, actually, I don't know if they've converted or, or made it or what. I'm not sure. Uh, it could be a conversion, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, right, so that's looking good. Let's get out and have a look, a listen for the engine. All right. So there's that V8, the E9 V8. Listen to that. That is something special, that is. That's really good. And listen to it inside as well. That's really good. Right, so let's go through the gears here. We've got low, four, high, four, low, yeah, whatever. We've got the highs, the lows, and it goes up to eight. So that's pretty much all the, all the gears that you need there. So we'll stick it in high one. Wow, listen to that. That is really nice. Well, the Jake. I didn't hear the Jake there, but I might have to rev it a bit higher. Let's check the wipers. Yeah, the wipers are still set for the old, old version. Uh, 1.16, not 1.17 onwards. Uh, let's jump in and we will check out the upgrades. Now, one thing I wanted to try different was the other engines. So let's quickly confirm that and try that. Jump on the outside again. That's, that's nice. But it's not as good as the E9. Not as good as that one. Um, so let's go back in again and I'll put on... Where was it? The Mac... No, that was the Mac E9. The Cat. Cat 600. And see what that sounds like. That sounds like Kreuzbum sound, actually. So that's nice, but no. Definitely for this truck, you cannot go past the E9. Right there. The Mac E9 V8. That is definitely a must. Now, uh, let's have a quick look to see what else is in here. Anything else? Uh, you can put on number plates. So there we go. Uh, but other than that, quick look around. There is nothing else that you can change. So, but that's cool. I mean, that, that's, that's pretty cool. Let's confirm that. Uh, quick look in the paint shop. What do we have here? So we've got metallics. 
A lot of bold people play with metallics and they mess it up. So let's see. Number one, working fine. Number two, working fine. Number three is working fine. Very, very good. That is very good. Now, uh, one of the another big thing that people mark up is this one here, and that is uh, see it's stretched across the top there, but and the and the roof. Uh, that's a bit of a shame there. But on the bonnet, it looks good. See if we go down to here on the bonnet, looks good, but up the top there, it's stretched. There we, you know, that's that's yeah, that's a shame. That is, it really is. That one's... Oh, that one doesn't look too bad. That's all right there. If we change that to... Let's see. Um, and then change that to more of a red in there. And then we put in the yellow. Yeah, like that, like it was. That doesn't look too bad. Not too bad at all. So let's confirm that, actually. That's nice. I like it. Now, let's go take it for a run. Take it for a spin, shall we? Listen to that. Right, turn on these lights. This is really, really nice. Oh, I could listen to this truck all day. Listen to that. That is so cool. Quickly go before that car comes. It's really nice to drive. This has come a long way since I last last saw it. Alright, let's give this a gutful, shall we? I want to hear that engine. So that was the exhaust brakes, the Jake brake there. So um, that was the Jake brake there, and that actually sounded... You could just hear it. If the Jake brake noise was changed so, so it was a bit louder, because these trucks, when you hear the Jake brake go, you hear the Jake brake go. So you hear it, it just goes... Da -da 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 Listen to that. That is so cool. Man, this is awesome. Even the noises in the background you hear rattling around. This sounds very cool. Very cool indeed. Dude looks like he's going to ram me. Man, it gets up and goes. This has actually surprisingly changed a lot since I last used it. I don't do not remember it being this good. Wow. I'm very impressed with this. Oh, listen to that. That's awesome. Unfortunately, there's the Jake. That's the only thing that's letting it down, I think. Oh, I'm going to take this onto the freeway. Get up there. Oh, look, just straight up. Not a problem. That's awesome. And we're in eight low. No, it's seven high. There we go. Eight high. There we go. Wow. Look at this. 70 miles per hour. Easy. That is pelting along. That is so cool. That's the Jake. And Jake, the only thing that Jake needs working on. That's that's it. The Jake is just... It's not adequate for this truck. It really is not. But that is pretty much it for this uh, sneak peek, guys. And this is the final truck that we're going to be submitting in the Aussie Truck tribute week okay so look if you now's the time to vote so make sure you get 
down below and you put in yes or no in the comments below. Do you want to see this in the weekly drive? Yes, down the bo down below or no? Whichever one you want, guys. And if you like any of the other trucks, then make sure you go to that actual video and you put in that video whether you like it yes or no in the comments below for that particular video. Okay, but that is pretty much it for me, guys. And um, look, I'm going to go have some more fun with this truck. This is pretty damn good. I'm impressed. Really am. But um, the link will also be down below as well. If you want to try it for yourself, then uh, make sure you grab the link down below. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. Uh, keep the shiny side up, the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching YouTubers, if you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here we take a look at what we did this weekend in the weekly convoy. Just down there we take a look at what Junior did in NASCAR 2015. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching YouTubers, and remember, game on!